Okay, welcome back. Today we are going to continue our Pori script tutorials and we are going to talk about creating Pokemarts. Um, so here in Pori Map, I just, you know, copy and pasted this Pokemart and uh, I pasted it here. I made sure to add the collisions um, and I added a warp tile um, down here. And in the same way, if you uh, don't know how to do it, how we created our indoor map inside of our new professor. Uh, laboratory we created a new indoor map in our little root indoor map inside uh, for our Pokemart. Um, we follow the exact same process so make sure to go back and watch that video um, where we it was the warps and new maps video in our pouring map tutorials list um, because we follow the same process here I just took the old Del Mart and I like copy and pasted it um, inside of uh, you know, I copy and paste it like this inside of this map. The dimensions for this are 11 and 8 if you want to know. Um, so we're going to be creating a, um, a Pokemart script. Now you don't have to use this script inside of a Pokemart. You can use it in the overworld. You can just have an NPC that sells you items and they can stand wherever you want and it's pretty cool. Um, there are also other ways to give individual items instead of having the full setup with all of the, you know, selling items, just giving items straight. Uh, and we'll briefly talk about that as well. Um, but while we're in Pori Map here, before we get into the script, um, I just want to mention something uh, interesting that you might be thinking about. You might have a question, well, how can we talk to this event object if this counter is in the way? Obviously, we can't walk through the counter, uh, and we're only supposed to be able to click on event objects that are right next to each other, right next to us. So um, this is actually, um, if I can click in, uh, always make that mistake. So if we click on our tile and then we go into the tile set editor, it's down here. Um, this tile, all of the counter tiles actually are MB counter. It's a special meta tile behavior. It's different than, you know, our regular MB normal. It's MB counter, MB counter. Now, if we look into the game's code, if we copy and paste MB counter into the code and we start following, you know, where it leads us, we'll see that it basically, uh, Whenever we're standing around and we press the A button, it you know it looks to see if there's anything that we're clicking on. Uh, but if we click on a uh, if we click if we're standing here and we click on a tile that has an MB counter, then it'll shoot over to the next one right next to it, and it'll actually let us access the script next to it, um, which is interesting. And uh, uh, you know you can use that for other properties other than just you know these counters. You know you might be able to come up with some clever uses for it. But we're not going to get too much into that right now. Um, we're going to talk about how to actually create the the, the script for the uh, you know for our um, our Pokemart. So go and create your new object like you would any other object. You know, give it the Mart employee if you want. We're going to make it face right. It needs a zero, a zero. We're going to give it a script in just a second, and that's the name that we're going to give it. It doesn't need a flag because we're not going to disappear it. It doesn't need a trainer type, it's not a trainer. We're just creating a normal script object that just faces to the right. And then we are going to go into you know, Visual Studio or whatever text editor you have, and you're gonna open your folder that you know is created when you create a new map in Pori Map, and you're going to create your scripts.pori file, and make sure to add your map scripts, and then we're going to get started with our script. It's a pretty simple script. Um, we pretty much copy it from the old Dale.ink script, uh, um, but in Pori map form. So we are going to lock, we are going to face the player, we are going to send a message. We don't need to use the message box and we don't actually need to close the message because it's gonna pop up with more messages and it's gonna overwrite it and then it's gonna close it itself. So we just do message, how may I serve you? You can use the message, mm, I wouldn't. But uh, uh, anyway, wait message, then this is the meat and bones, the Pokemart macro. Um, in the event that I think I actually don't have it open right now, but it's not that uh, all it does is it takes a data table and then it offers that data table as it calls the like the um, the C code that handles the uh, all of the UI stuff to pop up with the menu and it's going to let us sell the, the, the items from that data table to the player. Uh, um, so the Pokemart command is called like this, and then the name of the data table is given to it right here. Now we define the data table down here. We actually have to do it in raw code. Uh, um, technically, right now, Pori script, there's a pull request for a Pori script uh, 
data table type. Um, and by the time you're watching this video, it could already be created. So this is kind of what the syntax would look like in that case. Um, this might be table instead of mart because it might be universalized with the movement commands, but it might still be mart. Uh, I'm not sure, but I'll definitely leave a comment if that does end up happening. Uh, but for now, this is one of the few things that PortScript doesn't cover, these data tables. So we have to do them um, uh, in raw, uh, the dot ink, it's gonna be the same thing that is here. Um, so we just use our raw tag, our back tick on the top and the bottom. Now we need to dot align two. You can also dot align one. I'm not even sure it's needed at all because I think the default might be one, but the game adds it. So we're gonna add it just to be safe. Um, it just aligns the data table on two byte intervals. If you aligned it on a one byte interval, that would also align on two bytes because you know two is just one twice. Um, but either way, we're gonna get started. So you need the name of your data table and then we're gonna give it global access um, which is the dot dot that's what you know we use to declare our scripts in the dot ink format um, colon colon I don't know why I said dot dot and then you're gonna start to declare an, a, a two byte uh, data entry we do dot two byte and then we declare the name of the item because that's what we're using in this particular table so dot two byte dot two byte dot two byte dot two byte it needs to end, all, all your list of items, it needs to end with an item underscore none, it has to. Otherwise, it'll glitch out. Uh, if we're using the this format, it'll put it in automatically. Um, it also put this release and end in automatically, or it might not put it in at all because it's not technically needed, uh, but it's put in here, so I put it in anyway, but the game will actually release and end from the script, so it doesn't actually matter. But uh, um, anyway, so we can just add our items as simple as that, and that's the majority of the script. Pokemart, Little Root, and then once that's done running, once you exit out of it, it gives you a message box that says come again, it releases, it ends, and that's the whole thing. You just need these items, and you could run it like this. Uh, technically, right now though, the Moth Bike and the Master Ball uh, would not, you wouldn't be able to buy them, uh, because we have not changed in the items.h, so if you go to source, data, items.h, this is how you change the price. Uh, it's also how you change a lot about the items, which we will get into in a later video when we actually like add and edit items. So I'm gonna go to the master ball. Uh, um, when this, when I started, before I did anything, this price was zero. Zero means you can't buy it. Uh, you know, one means you can buy it for one pokey dollar or whatever they're called in the game, I forget. 100 is 100, etc. cetera. Um, so you can set it to whatever price you want, uh, but zero is, uh, zero is you can't buy it, it's unpurchasable. So with the mock bike, you know, that's normally not an item you can purchase either, so we had to set that to an actual value. I don't know what I said to, maybe 12 or something. Um, the master ball you have to set to a value. The rare candy, I think you can technically, I think it has a price, but it's super high. Um, so I lowered it, but I'm gonna go over most of this stuff later, but I'll talk about it briefly. The name is the name of the item, it appears, uh, you know, in, you know, when you're looking at the item. This is the ID, it's the same ID here, and it's the position in the array where we, it's how we access it. Uh, it's also the name here, and it's how the game accesses it. It's a constant variable, which is defined in a separate file. I think it's awesome called items.h or item.h, and it's in a different folder, in the include folder, I think. But anyway, um, then you obviously have the price. You have the description, which is defined somewhere else. It's just a string. Uh, the pocket that it's in, in the bag. Uh, the type of item. Uh, then you have stuff related to its battle usage, whether or not you can use it in battle or in the field. And then here's another ID um, for game access related variables. And it's pretty much the same uh, for a lot of these. Some of them get a little different. You know, fling power for use if you're be if, if it has a hold item effect. You know, this pure incense um, has hold effect repel. You know, things like that um, can be added uh, to an item. And that's how these items actually get, you know, the majority of their effects. Um, but anyway, um, I don't want to get into that too much uh, because we're just going over the basic Pokey Mart script. So this is all you need for Pokemart. Even when this gets added in, if you want to do it this way, you still can. It'll still work 100% because all this is going to do is it's going to compile this into this. Uh, uh, now this is just pulled from the pull request. Uh, so I literally just copy and pasted it because it's not actual code that we need to run. These are comments in PoriScript, so it's not even going to like look at this at all. Um, but 
So this is the map script. So here I've already, uh, you know, I've already compiled and ran it. This is our, uh, you know, our little little root town that we've set up so far. That the Pokemon Center there, uh, you obviously haven't seen. That's going to be for our next, uh, well, maybe not our next video, but we're going to get to it soon. Um, so if we go up to the Pokemon employee, I can talk across this counter because again, it's the MB counter type, and I can buy potion, mock bike, master ball, rare candy. Look at that. I'm just going to speed up a bit. I'm going to buy 98 rare candies. And now I can leave. And if I want to, I can go to my bag. I can use my bike. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I can also obviously use the Master Ball if I wanted to. I can go catch Kyogre. Um, let's actually go do that just because. Oh, because I'm using the expansion, I can use uh, I can use the Master Ball without even going to my bag. Uh, so there we go. Uh, there you have it. You have a Pokemart, and you can give the player whatever you want. And again, you can put that Pokemart script anywhere in the world. Uh, you can just give it to a random person. It doesn't have to be a Pokemart employee. Um, so, you know, you can use that. Um, wherever you want. Now again, I did say I would talk about the briefly talk about the give item script. So let's go back to event.inc and then here's give item. Now give item is a similar macro. You know, you'd give item, you use your parentheses, then you do the item type, which is this, uh, you know, this constant here, um, and then the amount that you're giving it. Uh, and that'll give you the item in the field. Find item is also used. Uh, it has a little bit of a different text that it gives you because it displays a message uh, and the fanfare give item does um, but the find item it's it's like you know you found an item or something instead of here's this item I think uh, but those are the uh, alternative alternative ways of giving items other than uh, you know through the marts well, the marts are more selling items obviously but anyway that's gonna be all for this video uh, if you have any questions uh, make sure to leave a comment otherwise uh, we'll see you on the next one